We're trapped, you guys. We're trapped. None of us can figure out how to get down. The snow is safer than the ice. <laughs> Everything is frozen hard. Hop in. We made it and it is cold today. Holy heck, but good morning. Welcome to today's video. Penny, you've been looking tired. Dad goes to work on the coldest day. Yeah, Dad goes to work on the coldest day. Well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Pooping in the water bucket. It's gotta end. It's gotta go, Penny Pickle. Anyways, oh, good morning. Welcome to today. Today is a home day. A kind of girl commented yesterday and said that we should go the days that we don't ride to the barn to spend time with the boys so that they don't think that we're always only going there to ride. I would love that. That would be amazing. But we have so many other responsibilities. The days that we don't go to, bar to the barn are the only days that I'm able to get the house cleaned, the shopping done, the mares taken care of, our... our course worked on like there's a lot of stuff that we have to do on the days that we don't go to the other barn and the days that we do go to the barn the whole day is right off like it we go there from about it's about five hours that we're there four and a half to five hours with driving and everything so i need those extra hours in the week to be with our girls and to be with our dogs and to be with our house and to do all and my work like i do a lot of work stuff she's still pretty good with it she's doing good yeah, she wasn't listening before because it wasn't on. All right, call her. Oh, she's choosing no. Oh, that's the part that's hard is that when she gets distracted, she just chose not to come. So we're gonna have to. You're gonna have to put a. You're gonna have to put a rope on her. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was not good, Daisy. <laughs> She's scared of the buzzer. Come on. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Here. Good girl. Hi, babes. Did you already try it without a treat? I don't have any treats. Oh, well, you always have to keep treats in your pocket. Now try it again. Wait till she goes away. Give her a treat when she checks in. See, she's just checking in now. Good, good girl. Make her sit. Because she doesn't like um, the buzz. Yeah, so that's what we want her to do. We want her to always be checking in. Go with your girl. <laughs> You're such a cute Dalmatian. Oh my gosh, she's skating over. <laughs> <laughs> That's dangerous. <It's> hilarious. <laughs> that was so good. So uh, you guys might not have heard this, but the girls are dying to go skating. We dug our skates out of the barn the other day dug their skates out of storage and they're and they made them fit their feet and they're dying to go skating no, mine fit. Mine fit not wrong. I'm not wrong. So, a while. You should listen but I got the short jean yeah she got the short jean in a family of giants but anyway it's supposed to be really cold today it's a yeah that she she's rocking her Italian jeans that's what she got so anyway they've been begging us to take them to take them skating. And I'm like, oh, I hate skating. I hate any sport that requires cold weather. I don't, it's not my favorite thing. And so Sam and I have been like, of course we'll take you skating. Hoping that they'll forget about it. But every day for the last three days, they've been like, let's go skating. Mostly Gabby. So I said, Sam, it's all you. This is your thing. You're the one that's always traditionally taken them skating. I've always stayed home and done caught up on all the stuff I need to catch up on. So go for it, Sam. And he's like, oh, man. So he said he's going to take them today after work. He said, be ready with your skates. And I was, they, he, we were hoping that they'd forget, but Gabby woke up talking about it. So I think he's going skating. I'm going to put Penny's uh, halter on her today because of the ice. Usually she realizes that she has to go slow on the ice. But if I just let her run out and she gets spooked or something, then, then she's more likely to run. So let's walk you out, Penny Pickle. Light layer of ice. It's cold today. Good job, Gabby. Good job, Queen Gabby. It's actually easier when I can work the ice. All right, let's go, Ruby Roo. It is cold today. You guys see my 
That's how cold it is. A couple weeks ago, I ordered something for Gabby's birthday and it came yesterday and then I gave it to her early because that's the kind of mom I am. I bought her these Spirit Oracle cards. Do you guys know what that is? She gave it to me a month early. Yeah, I gave it to her a month early. That's such a nice, two months early. Your birthday's Almost for two, two months. months. Yeah, such a nice mom. So it's such a fancy box. It opens like this. It's magnetic and it opens like this and it holds these cards. So here, read the book. Okay. How many do we take? So basically, oracle cards are kind of like used for inspiration, kind of. It comes with also a small little book. So you know the number, the normal numbers like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. What kind of numbers are the I X X I I I X X Roman well, numerals? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. I can't read those. Okay, but well, I'm guessing we will, that's one, two, and three. Well, we will work on Roman numerals then. That'll be something that we use. Using an oracle card is kind of like based on the idea of synchronicity or like divine intervention, putting something in your path when you need it. So it's kind of like God or your spirit guide could influence you to pick a specific card to offer you a message from above. Does that make sense? Kind of like that. I'm sure I butchered it. Somebody out there will explain what the really, what the true definition is. But these are not to be confused with tarot cards. They're nothing like that. These are oracle cards. It's just like a simple, fun thing that I thought that she would love because she is really into astrology and, and everything that goes along with astrology. So she's going to X, I, V, and X. Okay, so Sophie's gonna try. We're gonna try it. So shuffle the cards. It doesn't matter. To the front. <laughs> Sophie's not good at shuffling. Take it from the back and... Sophie's shuffled. Now she's gonna ask a question. Will there be another horse in my future? And then she's gonna pick the card off the top. Oh, what did I get? I got whatever this thing is. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. Be playful, let's read what it means. Heart is heavy and life seems to weigh you down. Sandpiper spirit's message is to lighten your burden by finding joy and humor in the everyday. Become like a playful child. I love that. Filled with curious and wonder and soon you will find you feel your own spirit. A few minutes or hours of fun filled delight is exactly what you need now. Enjoy the ridiculousness of life and be willing to jump in. Let your inner goof out to express itself with abandon. I feel like Sophie already does that. Like that is totally Sophie anyways. But that's really cool. Okay. That one. All right. That did not answer if you're going to ever have another horse though. So Gabby, what's your question? Um, it says don't just ask a yes or no question tell because me something about my future then. All right, just something random about tell her about something about tell her future. Tell me something about my future. All right. I got a hummingbird. Be here now. Be here now. Let's read what that's what about. What does that mean? Okay, so the hummingbird means that all you seek is right here, right now. Appreciate the present and you will see that you are where you need to be and enjoying what you are entitled to enjoy in this timeless and perfect moment. So be in the moment. Just appreciate what you have. All right, I'm going to do mine. I got the chameleon. Oh, and it says act as if. It says that not all conditions are yours to match. You need to distinguish your own color from the rest of the world right now and take time to soothe your sensitive soul. Choose some activities that will restore your sense of being grounded and avoid people who need, who revel in drama. Take a break from social media too. You are a person who revels Self care in drama. and a time out is the answer to this temporary dilemma. Yeah, that pretty much sums up me exactly, you guys. Like that, that's. But you are a person with drama. Oh yeah, I'm a drama. I like drama though. Do you like drama? Yes. Yeah, like Gabby and I love drama. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but like even Kaylee likes drama like we sometimes are reading through social media not even our own social media it's like we'll see somebody else's social media and then all of a sudden there'll be like all this drama that disrupts and we'll be like oh oh did you see what so-and-so said to so-and-so like it's I don't know even though I try and always remember that we're all on our own journey and everybody's drama is their own like it's exciting I like to I like having excitement in in my life and Sometimes, sadly, it comes with drama, but it's fun. So this girl slept with Sophie last night. How'd it go, Sophie? I couldn't breathe. 
When I say she slept in your bed with you, what, how did, where did she sleep? On top of me. <laughs> and she's a heavy girl, and when you try and push her, she's like a wet noodle, right? Yeah. Uh, so funny. But she had the best sleep I did. <laughs> <laughs> she also pounced on me in the middle of the night and woke me up. Like, what? It's been two days of ice, and I'm over it. I'm over it so much. Okay, so what you should do is set up enough to weave. You need like at least put the other two ones up there too. Are you not coming in for treats and for playing? I see you. Can you guys spy? I spy with my little eye a black and white mare hiding. Come on, Pen. Come on. Come here. Go slow. That's a girl. Okay, so today what we're doing is our, our skill for today is weaving. And I'm like so jealous of <laughs> this girl down here. Literally just, just like literally picks up her hand and the, the horse is like, oh, direct me and I'll go where you like. This horse is doing great too. Go, Sophie, it doesn't matter if she goes a little bit far from you. So anyway, what we're going to practice right now is we're just all going to practice our our stuff and then after we practice it we're all going to take turns weaving weaving is what's going to happen but you know what happened so penny hates the dogs i at her when we tried her she tolerated the dogs there but she does not love our dogs and she always is rude to them and today molly ran up to her and and barked at her in her face and that's never happened before Queen of Hearts When everyone folds your forge to holds Your place in your bed Showing no regret So I'm filming and I'm making like such good headway with my horse and then I look over and Gracie's standing in front of the camera I'm like, Cubby! And she's like, it was crazy. Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know that you trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool, bending all the rules Talking. Okay, so this is what we're doing we're just gonna lead, we're gonna lead our horses, hopefully, without lead ropes, but Gat, Sophie's gonna try with the lead rope because she said that her horse, yeah. And there's my, my curious girl. All right, so here's contestant number one. It's the moving out of the, their way that's really hard. Good, give her a treat. Well, the contest is to start at one end, work your way to the other, work your way back to where you started. Easy. I know, Gabby's over there bragging, easy. They say I brag about my horse too much. Okay. Okay, so that's Gabby. And remember, you guys, like, we're literally just trying our best here. This is a new concept, and like, it's fabulous that we are as far as we are. She's like, oh, come on, let's work some more. I'm gonna try and set the camera up so you guys can see better.
how much of that you guys got to see. I had her working really good on two, so I'm gonna show you guys that. No need to vote because clearly, clearly, <laughs> Gabby was the winner. How much money do I want to get? A hundred bucks for the winner of this course. Oh, 50 bucks for the winner of this course. I think if Gabby wants to skate, she should just skate right here. No. Come on, let's see. Skate. Whee! <laughs> She's like, no. She actually is looking for a treat, that's why. <laughs> okay, now see what happens when Gabby does it, and then I'll do it. Okay, now watch. Back up. Front. Oh. She, I can do that too. Do it from the side. Okay. She does not like to be a do it from the side. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Wait. It's the side. <laughs> she, uh. I don't think she can see in front of her nose, right there. You yeah. know how we ignore her nose? She can't see her nose. You're right. All right, Penny Pickle, I cleaned her all up. Got her all ready to go back in the field and do nothing. Like we have a small town bet, you guys. We are in a really tiny a rural area. Nothing close, no big cities closer than an hour away. And most of them are like two hours away. Go Ruby. So it's different for us than it would be for like some place that had a whole bunch of bets they could choose from. Wait, I'm coming. Go slow, Pen. And I need to take, uh-oh, there's a thing on the ground there. Go slow. She is a spaz about ice. And she's walking on it. Yeah. She's a spaz on the ice. I have the same options as a lot of places. Come here, I'll have a treat for you. Take off your halter. But rest assured that the benefit of having a small town vet is that I can email him whenever I want. I email him pictures, I email him anything that I need to, and I, I do. I take advantage of that. He gives me advice on everything that I need that are things that are not even vet related that don't need a vet. So rest assured, I do email him and message him anytime I have a problem. So now I'm gonna send you guys off with Sam and the girls and to go skating. Hi guys, we're at the local rink and we're ready to skate. We got Sophie ready, she's got on my skate so uh, she might not do that great. We got Gabby here and she's got the red fire rocket skates and she'll be sliding all over the place soon. <laughs> I'm gonna be falling I'm gonna grab a pylon for Sophie. <laughs> All right, here we go. I can't do this. <laughs> you can do it. Whoa! I'm good. <clears throat> I can't do this. Oh, cool. You're doing good. I don't remember. That's it. You know what? Next year, Dad's going to put a skating rink in our yard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me fall. Don't make me fall. Okay, you got it now? No, no, come on, hold on to that thing. Hold on to the pylon there. You need two hands. I need someone to walk around with me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, sorry, girls, you're on your own now. You're on your own. Dad! You're doing good, Gabs. I'm kind of thrilled. Gabby, don't! So if you go on the rough stuff, you're going to fall for sure. Yeah, well, I need somebody to walk around with me. I can't walk on ice. I have no traction. Dad, I'm backing up. Dad. There goes Gabby. Whoa! How do I turn? Push the cone and then turn. You're doing good. You're doing good. Can you walk around with me while I hold on here? Oh my gosh. I have to walk around with you guys. Yeah, Dad, help me now. Hang on, I have to. I'm gonna fall if I walk around because this is slippery. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It is with boots. These boots are. All right, let me try and walk around. I'm gonna fall for sure. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Got me. Just wait while I do this a couple times so I can, like. <laughs> oh, Sophie took a wipe out. You see Sophie back there? She took a wipe out. All right, so use your cone. Too loud, and you're talking rude. You're playing a game, driving me insane. Your heart is back, and it's a fact. No turning back.
You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. You did good. Pylon. Now do it without the pylon. You should be all right. Well, I still need it for stopping. Because I press into it to stop it. This old dog's going to show them some new tricks. All right, I got my skates on. Don't judge. I haven't been on the ice for... It's the last time we went skating, which was probably three, four or, five, three or four years ago. Four or five. So don't judge. To trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. How was it? It was fun, but my feet are hurting. Good, good job. Here, Dad. Good job. See, there's older people wearing, using cone. Older people using cones out there. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass. Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. Oh, when I use my witchcraft. I got my moves, I got my song. done skating we're going back home that's it for today's video and we'll see you tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful